this is the question of uh, may june 2016 paper 1 2 and the question number is 12. so it has got a light rod xy xy light rod uh, it has an object of weight w fixed at one end and uh, the weight is uh, acting vertically down the rod is in equilibrium uh, resting on a roller at z roller means that uh, this thing is somewhat cylindrical in shape and it can uh, rotate like this like this and a vertical wall at x vertical wall at x the roller exerts a force r on the rod as shown so so this roller will be exerting a force r on this rod the diagram shows the directions but not the magnitudes of the forces r and w so here the direction of the forces r and w are exact but their magnitudes are not exact that means the length of the arrows do not exactly represent the magnitudes of the vectors here so we have to find what is the direction of the force on the rod at x so the we have to find the direction of the force on the rod that means the force exerted by the resultant force exerted by the wall on this rod at x so let us first realize that because of the action of these two forces so this w will be trying to move the rod like this and similarly this force will be trying to move the rod like this so the ultimate result is that this rod will be moving clockwise so these two forces will be trying to move the move the <coughs> move the rod clockwise so that means here there should be some this sort of force this sort of force applied by the rod on the wall which means that there will be a component there will be a component of the force in this direction this is the component of the force applied by the rod on the wall so this makes the wall also apply a uh, an opposing force so this is the force applied by the wall on the rod xy wall on the rod xy so another force that the wall exerts on this rod at this point is the normal reaction force so this is the normal reaction force so it is force reaction so because of these two forces there will be some sort of resultant here so this is the total resultant force exerted by the wall on the rod at this point x so that means as you go through the choices choice number d represents this force so choice number d is the d is the correct answer